listening to you here at 6 o'clock. We begin tonight with new information about a deadly multi-vehicle crash that took the lives of a mother and her two young daughters and injured seven others. It happened Sunday afternoon on I-465 near Keystone, and tonight we're learning more about the semi-driver who was arrested and if road construction had anything to do with that crash. rtv 6s Stephanie Wade leads our team coverage tonight. She joins us live near the interstate with the latest. Stephanie. The semi-truck driver was just going too fast. Indiana State Police say likely causing the crash where a 29-year-old woman and her two 18-month-old twin daughters were killed. As several construction projects are now underway along the interstate, this serves as a horrific reminder to slow down, especially in construction zones. You know, it's real unfortunate, and what I see every day is, is uh, examples of selfish driving. People are only worried about themselves getting to their destination, and, and unfortunately, that makes it unsafe for other people on the road. Police have now confirmed Bruce Pollard was behind the wheel of a semi-truck when he allegedly barreled into stopped traffic along I-465 near Keystone Avenue. First, hitting a car with 29-year-old Alana Norman Coons of Indianapolis and her 18-month-old twin daughters inside. All three died on the scene. Right now, preliminarily, we think that this driver was just going too fast. Um, maybe lack of attention, something happened, uh, causing him to run into the back of that traffic at a very high rate of speed. That set off a chain reaction, hitting six other cars as well. Of those, two people were critically injured and six others were sent to the hospital. Pollard has been preliminarily charged with reckless homicide and criminal recklessness, causing injury. All this while several construction projects are underway on the interstates. Five projects happening right now. Is that typical? Um, no, this is the most we've had in Marion County in a long time. Parts of I-65 are closed now and other lane restrictions for road repaving and bridge repairs. And there were lane restrictions on the north side near this crash. Did the rain delay some of those projects? Yeah, so we had some rain, rain delays. INDOT says although they've gotten a late start on some of these projects, they want to get this work done before winter time. As soon as you start seeing those orange signs, the barrels, the flashing lights, uh, message boards, whatever it may be, you need to heighten your attention. You need to be prepared for lane shifts, for congested traffic, lane closures, shoulder closures, emergency vehicles, the list goes on and on. Now, since this crash happened on Sunday afternoon, two other people have been killed in crashes also along the interstate. One car ran off the road and hit a concrete wall on I-70 near the North Split. That was also in a construction zone. And earlier this morning, someone on a motorcycle died along I-65 near Lafayette Road. And police believe alcohol was involved there. For now, reporting live tonight, Stephanie Wade, RTV6.